Hey spooky witches and happy Halloween. Today I have a very exciting unboxing video because my Jeffree Star mystery boxes have arrived. It's actually kind of funny. I ordered a couple lipsticks from the Pricked collection literally a month ago and they're not going to be here until next week and I ordered these maybe three or four days ago and they're already here. So I don't know what's up with the shipping, but whatever. I think they shipped with different people, so I don't know. But I'm very excited. We're going to unbox these and see what kind of goodies came about. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing what I got in my mystery boxes, then just keep watching. Alrighty, we're going to start with this black box. I'm going to go ahead and open it real quick. I did see a lot of spoilers online prior to ordering these and that's why I decided to order them because I ordered the summer mystery box and I really liked it. Um, but I don't know, sometimes uh, with these mystery boxes, you never know. So I wanted to make sure that it was a good amount of things I did not already have in my possession. Also, my lash is like totally in my eye and it's annoying the crap out of me. Alrighty, here we are. We got the cute little, little tissue paper and lots of goodies. Let's go ahead and start. Let me figure out how I wanna angle myself. Alrighty, so the first thing in this first box is the Jeffree Star skin card. He's teased skincare, so I think that's going to be coming either around holiday or early next year. Um, very, very exciting. Uh, let's see. Okay, first things first, we have a Velvet Trap lip, and this is in the shade Firestarter. I don't think I have this shade. I only have a couple of the Velvet Traps, and they're from the Pink Religion collection, but look how pretty this color is. It's like a scarlet reddish pink. Very pretty, I'm gonna swatch it. Look at that, okay, that's gorgeous. That's beautiful. I am so excited to play with that shade. Um, we also have the Supreme Gloss in shade Wifey. And this shade is more of kind of like that rusty red, pretty much every shade of red I've been wearing all month. So I'm really excited. I haven't tried the Supreme Gloss formula either, so that's exciting. This is the Velour Liquid Lipstick in Weirdo. I was actually kind of hoping I would get this because I only have one other black lipstick um, and it's from ColourPop and I just don't love the formula, but we got Weirdo, the black liquid lipstick, how fun. Next is a Velour Lip Scrub in the scent Witch's Brew. And I've heard a lot of people say a lot of different things on this. Some people say it smells like licorice and some people say it smells like spearmint. So I'm here to debunk all theories and tell you, I love the matte black with the red. That's super pretty. No, that definitely smells like licorice. Very much a licorice scent. I totally agree with the people that say licorice. Okay, and last but not least for these little things, we have the gloss in Six Feet Under. I don't currently have anything from the Cremated Collection, uh, and I was very excited to see in the spoilers that a lot of the items were from the Cremated or kind of along that line. So this is a black, it's kind of like a blue sparkly to it uh, gloss. I actually really like the gloss formula. I have a couple of these and I love them. Next is the item I think I'm most excited for out of this box. I've been getting a lot of spooky Halloween comments because people found out I love Halloween, but look at this little bat bag. It's super cute. It has the little fangs, it has the little bat wings, and it's just one solid pocket, I believe, but I'm very excited about this one. Yeah, so inside it's just one pocket, but I'm super excited about this. I think this is gonna be my new makeup work bag because it's a bat, how can you not like it? It's so cute, love this, I, I'm obsessed. I love Halloween. Okay, we have the Weirdo palette and I actually wanted to pick up the Weirdo palette, but knowing that it came in the mystery boxes, I decided not to. Here is the packaging, it's a matte cardboard with the glossy star and then the embossed Weirdo. A little bit different from his usual packaging, normally I feel like it's very glossy um and there's lots of detail to it and on the front we have jeffrey and this is more of a metallic-y finish if you can't tell and here we have the palette look how gorgeous i am so excited about this palette when i saw this collection drop i was ecstatic 
because I've just been really gravitating towards these types of tones recently. Those like grungy early 2000s, late 90s type tones. Super fun. And this silver, I love a good silver shadow, especially coming into winter. I think this will be so fun. I'm super excited. If this is what I think it is, I'm pretty sure this is the Blood Sugar palette. So here we are, Miss Blood Sugar. I have the Anniversary Edition, the white one, but I'm always afraid to use it because it's white, but I got it because it was white and I thought it was pretty. But here she is in all of her glory. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one or not. If I decide to pass on it, I will list it on my Poshmark. The only reason I'm on the fence is because as much as I love this palette, the red background really just confuses me, which is why I got the white anniversary one. So if you're interested in a blood sugar, let me know. I might list it on Poshmark for a discounted price, but this is such a good palette. I've been using this one a lot recently. She's beautiful. Next up, we have a lip bundle. This is the Nudes, I think. There's multiple nude bundles, so I'm not sure which one this one is, but this is the nudes. It says open here for nudes, super cute. And look at all of these, oh, look how gorgeous. Christmas Cookie is one of my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks, and I also really like Top Shelf. Top Shelf is a good one, but it comes with quite a variety. I'm really excited to try out some more of these. I've really been into brown lipsticks recently, so I think it'll be so fun to play around with these in some of my upcoming looks. I'm like running out of space. My beauty room is a disaster, and I really need to clean it. It's disgusting. And last but not least, we have a t-shirt. I ordered mine in the size medium. I normally uh, get size small for things, but when I saw the spoilers, I just thought this would be a fun one to wear with like a stripy shirt underneath. I kind of do a baggy, uh, grungy look. So it has like a little spider on the back with Jeffrey's logo. And then just like the subtle front. I did a look yesterday thinking my boxes would be here earlier and I was going to film the look and I wore a stripy turtleneck sweater underneath a um, t-shirt and that's kind of how I envision wearing this. I think it'll be really fun, something different. So that is the first box down and now we have the big box. So this one I think I was really excited for a couple of the items in the first box, but I think I'm really, really excited for this box. Here is what the second box is looking like. Very full and I'm already, oh, sorry, this box is like huge. I'm already seeing a lot of stuff that I'm excited for. I was kind of hoping I'd get a couple of these items. So I'm really, really happy. Okay, again, we have the Jeffree Star skin spoiler card or teaser card. Um, we have another velvet trap. This one is in the shade Red Affair. I really like these. They remind me a lot of the MAC Powder Kiss formula if anyone's into MAC lipsticks. They're just very soft and this one's kind of more of a bright red. I'm gonna swatch that one too. That's very similar to that first shade I got, but more of like a blue red rather than an orange red. Super excited. I love a good red lip in fall and winter. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where I want to start. I have a, another The Gloss, and this is in the shade Mouthful. And Mouthful is this really pretty kind of like champagne rose gold type gloss. It's really pretty natural sparkle. I think this will look great over nude lipsticks, especially with that nude bundle that I got in the first box. I think it'll be perfect. Next, we have the Automatic Eyeliner from the Blood Money Collection. And this one is in the shade Assets which is more of a foresty green. It's kind of like a darker green, if you can kind of tell. Really pretty. I do have one from this collection, and mine is in the shade Resting Rich Face. So for comparison, Resting Rich Face is olive, and Assets is more of like a blue green, blue toned green. I think it'll be really pretty though. I'm excited. I love the automatic eyeliners. I think they're phenomenal. Next we have the Magic Star Concealer in shade Pale Yellow. This, I was kind of hoping I'd get this one over the lavender one, so I'm kind of glad that I did end up getting the yellow one. I get a little bit of a dark circle under my eye occasionally. I'm not sure how much I will use this, but I'm excited to try the formula. I think it'll be very fun. It honestly looks 
like just a concealer. It doesn't look too yellow. So it might not be so bad. I might be able to actually get away and use it. There is a, another Witch's Brew Lip Scrub. I think I'm going to list this one on my Poshmark as well since I already have one from the previous box. So I'll set that aside with the Blood Sugar Palette. Um, next we have the Magic Star Luminous Setting Powder in Natural. Now this one I'm a bit hesitant on just because I am so fair. I don't want it to look too dark and I think this one might actually be a little too dark for me. Yeah, that looks like it's definitely going to be too dark for me, so I will list this one as well. But this is the Luminous Setting Powder. I would like to try this eventually, um, or even just the regular setting powder, but I do think the shade is going to be way too dark for me, and I'd rather give it to someone that could actually use it than uh, use something I know probably won't work for me. So I will set that one aside as well. Um, overall, I think this is a pretty good box so far, though. I'm pretty excited. Uh, we have the lip liner in shade Unicorn Blood, which is one of my favorite shades. I was just thinking the other day how I wanted a deep red lip liner, and here we are. Got like this reddish brown lip liner. I think this is the newly formulated ones. I think he kind of took down his old lip liners and reformulated them, so I'm pretty sure this would be the new, new formulation. But I'm really excited about this. I'm actually going to swatch this too. I have no self-control. Look at that. It's a beautiful burgundy lip liner. Perfect for my collection. I don't have a burgundy and I've been wearing a lot of dark lips recently. I do have two uh, single shadows that I can add to my Jeffrey Singles palette from my Summer Mystery Box. These shades I got are Poison Ivy, which is this lime green shade. Uh, this one I believe is in the Blood Money palette, I'm pretty sure. And then this shade is Last Look, which I'm pretty sure is from Cremated. So Last Look is more of this kind of gunmetal gray shade. Really like these shades. I actually like that they include singles. I know some people don't like them because they're already in some of the palettes. I would like to see him come out with some more unique singles, things that aren't in his palettes already. Um, but I think the singles are great, especially if you use up a shade. I've kind of been putting together a little Jeffree single palette from some of my past mystery box gifts. Next we have the Liquid Lip in Androgyny. Again, a really great shade. I think I used to have this one and I either used it up or I got rid of it. I can't remember. But this is kind of like a mauve rusty nude. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's a really gorgeous color. I'm glad to have this one in my collection. It's definitely a shade I would wear. Up next, we have another Weirdo palette. I'm going to go ahead and throw this one in my Poshmark pile. So if any of y'all want a Weirdo palette, Poshmark in my description below. I always like to link it in case you're interested. I frequently add things to it. Um, next, we have something I'm actually pretty excited for. And this is the Mini Controversy palette, uh, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collab from I think a couple years ago already. I have the original one, the one that does not have the green shade, but I think this one has the green shade. And I really wanted this one, but I couldn't justify purchasing an individual palette for one different shade. So if I'm correct, we'll reveal it together. Ready? Look at that. It has the green shade. Oh, I'm excited about the green. I'm going to swatch that too. Sorry. I, I don't know if people swatch in unboxings normally, but I'm excited. I... I wanted this literally just for the green. It's fine. I make great adult decisions with my adult money. I'm really happy about this one. Can I add that into my makeup drawers? And yet another item I'm extremely excited about. This is the cremated palette. I have been on the fence about this one for a long time and when I saw the spoilers and I saw people getting this one in their boxes, I just knew, I knew this was the box for me. I've wanted this palette for quite a while and I couldn't justify it originally, but now that I'm doing more of those grungy looks, I feel like I will get a lot of use out of this. But here is what she looks like. It is my first time actually seeing this palette in person and I'm extremely excited about a lot of these shades. I really like a lot of this top row. I think will be so fun for those really deep smoky looks. You have some brights. I love a lot of these lighter shades to set my um, primer. I think this is just a great palette and I'm really excited. So if you want to see any looks with this palette, maybe I'll do a video. Maybe. 
Next, we have another lip bundle. This is a red bundle, Love Me, Love Me Not on the side. I don't really know what the bundle is called because it does not have a name on it, but it is a red bundle, I'm assuming, based off of the colors. And here we are. I got a mini of Unicorn Blood so I can match the lip liner to this mini. There's Watermelon Soda. Oh, another Wifey. Wait, Wifey? There's something named Wifey. Oh, that's my other lipstick. Okay, I could have sworn that I saw something named Wifey. I can't remember. Okay, maybe I'm losing it. Maybe I'm making stuff up. Literally don't know, but this looks like a good selection of red shades. I will definitely have a lot of fun and no shortage of red shades for winter looks. I feel like I should keep these in their boxes and find a way to display them somewhere because I really like the boxes. If you know me and you've been anywhere near my channel, any of my tutorials, you know that I have a couple of Jeffree Star mirrors and I use them literally all the time because I am blind and I cannot see up close to my face unless my face is like literally right there. Say no more. <gasps> Stop. This is so cute. Look at this mirror. I am so excited. It has the little spider web and the drippies. Oh, I love it. It is super cute. I'm obsessed with this. This was actually one of the main reasons I decided to do the bo this box. It had the cremated palette, it had the mirror, and it also had the controversy with the green. And I was like, that's enough for me. That justifies it for me. So, oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm so happy with the mirror. Anyway, and last but not least, there is another uh, apparel item. This is a sweatshirt, so let me get it out of the bag and then I'll show you. So this is what this one looks like. It has that same logo, only in kind of a brownish gold. It's like a poopy, rusty brown. And then the same design on the back, just in sweatshirt form. This one I got in the size extra large. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this one or not because the shirt was more my vibe than this one, but I got an extra large just in case because I like my sweatshirts pretty baggy. Alrighty friends, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you got in your boxes if you picked up any of his mystery boxes this year. I hope you guys have a lovely day and a happy Halloween and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!